Well, this is how you can fix the pronunciation error in 11 Labs, especially when mentioning names, brand names, or product names that are not in the English language. So here, I do have a very simple passage, and it contains a product name called Le Chat. It is from a French company, and that's why the correct pronunciation is Le Chat, not Le Chat. Even though in the English language, it might be pronounced with Le Chat, but it is not the correct pronunciation. And unfortunately, AI doesn't know that, so it might be using the English pronunciation, which is, again, not accurate. So, I'm going to show you how you can fix it, but before that, let me just play the audio so we can compare it later with the correct pronunciation. So, I'm going to click this button and just listen closely. Le Chat is Mistral AI's fast conversational assistant with Le Chat delivering responses at up to 1,000 words per second. Okay, so the first one was inaccurate, but the second one, the second one was Le Chat and it's pretty close, but it's not consistent and I want to fix it. Now, the simplest way to fix this problem according to 11 Labs is by using a sort of alias. Basically, you are writing the name in the same ways the uh, name should be pronounced or how it sounds. For example, the Le Chat name is actually pronounced Le Chat, and this is the correct uh, phonetic uh, pronunciation according to this answer from Perplexity. So you can use Google, you can use uh, Perplexity, ChatGPT, and uh, ask for the correct way or the, or the phonetic pronunciation for certain names or brand names. Now I'm going to copy this and let me just replace Le Chat with Le Chat. And let me do the, just do the same for another one. And there you go. Now I'm going to generate the speech again. And uh, you can listen closely. And this time around, it's going to be 100% accurate. Lu Sha is Mistral AI's fast conversational assistant with Lu Sha delivering responses at up to 1,000 words per second. Okay, so it's pretty good. Now, the second method that you can try is quite similar to this one, but we can kind of automate the process using a feature called pronunciation dictionaries in 11 Labs. To access that, you can click my account and then go to pronunciation dictionaries and you can uh, create a new dictionary. You can click this button or this button. It's the same thing and click create from scratch. Now, uh, I'm going to add a new rule. And input would be le chat or actually le chat. And there are three methods that you can try. There is alias, IPA, and CMU. And honestly, I'm not quite familiar with these two options. So I do recommend to just use alias because it is just simple and straightforward. But if you are interested with the other options, then this is a table that probably could explain the differences between uh, the options in the dictionary. So feel free to use that. But again, I think the alias is just much simpler and straightforward. Now let's go back again. And the output is obviously the sharp. So this is the input and the output will be Le Chat. And here you can select the voice for preview. This for preview is not something that will be applied to that voice only. This will be applied to every voice in 11 Labs. Now I'm going to click this so I can preview the result. Le Chat. Okay, that's pretty good. Now if you're quite happy with the result, you can click save changes. And you can close this. And I guess I'm going to refresh the page because sometimes when I'm actually testing this feature, it just doesn't work if you don't refresh the page for some reason. Anyway, I'm going to use a different passage. Uh, that's still about the same product, which is Le Chat. And I'm going to be using just Le Chat, but you will see that it will consistently using the Le Chat pronunciation. So let me just generate speech and uh, take a listen. Mistral released a new AI assistant named Le Chat. With new technologies, Le Chat can deliver faster response. And yeah, that's definitely much more consistent. And it is simpler because I can just maintain the same name, the same product name or brand names, but the pronunciation would be corrected automatically with the dictionary feature. So that's how you can fix the pronunciation error with uh, labs uh, with methods using alias and also the pronunciation dictionaries. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you a great day ahead.